Oh my gosh. Uh, girl, these ends, they just they ain't, they ain't trying to have no parts of it. <laughs> They're like, look, we remember what happened last time. No, ma'am. Oh! Hi, guys. How y'all doing? I hope that everything is going well for you all. I wanted to come on here and share with you all something that I recently purchased. Now, something about my hair, this is, um, I think I talked about it. It's 4B, 4C. I have low porosity hair. And I have not, I didn't document, there was a moment that I had heat damage um, about a year or so ago, maybe about two years ago. And I had to use certain products and, you know, kind of just nurse it back to health. So I haven't really, because of that experience, I haven't been um, putting heat on my hair. Cause I just, you know, my, my, my hair has been growing. Ugh. My hair has been growing and um, I just been really proud of the progress so either way I've been trying to look into more um, I've been trying to look into products that were pretty you know kinky hair friendly and something that wouldn't take as much time as well I know when I do my hair when I straighten my hair it take it takes a few hours so either way I saw this product I saw this straightening comb and it is called the Timo. Okay, and I'm gonna take it out. This is um, I bought it for my own money, so it's not sponsored or anything. Okay. Oh yes. All right. So it says this straightening comb incorporates PTC heating technology and reaches 350 Fahrenheit within 30 seconds and ready in 60 seconds. It takes it saves time when it straightens more hair at once with less comb passes, which is what I need. I don't need to continue to pass it through my hair. Um, too many times. Ceramic teeth with patent, patented, ceramic teeth with patented V shape make hair a silky, shiny, satin like, reducing breakage and splitting by up to 50%. It can reach more hair roots to provide better results. Beautiful, silky hair is achieved in minutes while reducing damage. No matter the hair types, it has five heat settings 266 Fahrenheit to 410 Fahrenheit. For soft, thin, fine, bleached, dyed, curly, thick, or wavy hair to silky and natural straight hair. All right, so um, this, I'm gonna show you guys what it all comes with. It's fancy, baby, this is fancy. All right, so it has the bag that the straightening comb is in. Look at that beauty, look at the beauty. has your clips just in case you don't have any I have a, a whole container full of clips so that'll be added to it and then it has a brush inside of it as well it's like a cute little you know detangling brush and then they have this comb oh I'm not comb hello <laughs> they have this glove Y'all, I don't know if I said this before, but <laughs> this, um, like the bottom of my hair is a completely different texture from up here. So, um, I always laugh at it though. Cause it's just like the curls are looser. Yeah. It's a lot looser um, down here than it is up here or the coils. Anyways. That's just uh, something that I've noticed, you know, as time goes by and you get on your natural hair journey, um, you start to learn about your hair, all right? So anyways, guys, I am gonna brush this on out. I have put the heat protectant on. Low-key a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, a little nervous, but I'm excited. I mean, girl, you know, we done been through the hot comb. We done been through, you know, silk press, all of the stuff. So, ain't no need. Ain't no need to be afraid. <laughs> I 
This glove's a little uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, hello. Uh-uh. I'm taking this glove off. Can't. Can't do it. No, I can't even see. My fault. Oh. Huh. Girl, that's just one pass. Okay. I definitely see why it's probably better to um, blow dry first, but it's okay. That's not bad for it to be the first pass, for real, and to not blow dry my hair. Ugh, girl, come on. All right, I probably should make it a bigger piece than this, honestly. I don't know what that sound is. All right, I will say already, like I don't like, again, maybe it's just because I, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's the, it's not getting the ends as well. But, you know. Not bad. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this next sec ow, this next section and then maybe do one more pass with both of them and see if that helps. like the little chase me yeah it is chase chase method hello can i talk today clearly not but this is nice y'all like it's not necessarily getting my roots but i'm also not touching it that close girl you did not do the chase method help us lord i'm struggling with these ends oh But baby, look at that. I mean, it's getting this right here. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Maybe my, my I, I don't know. I don't know if it's too, like y'all, this is really, it's so soft. It's really going through my hair. Um, Pretty neat. All right, let's try this. Let me see if it'll make a difference if I come from the, go from the bottom. I'm struggling on these ends, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. I was not trying to pass it through this many times, but baby, this is straight, okay? Baby, did not come to, oh wait, hold on. Did not come to play. Ooh, girl, this is something else. I can't even, <sighs> I'm struggling. Jesus, be a fence.
right guys so i'm finally back and i'm going to tell you guys um the pros and cons to the timo hair straightening comb for me um first things first this has cut down i would say at least an hour <laughs> um compared to what i would do with a flat iron um if you as you guys saw my hair is really thick um and even with that being said like <laughs> i had to put my camera on um, my battery to charge it for a little bit and it wasn't really that long but already with humidity my hair is you know like it's not bone straight so i do like this as a blowout i will say um starting with the cons i and i feel like this has a lot to do with why my hair um or maybe like everything is not um I guess I would say even. Now you guys also did see me do like the twists on the side. So obviously it's not going to be straight because I was trying to keep my hair from um, frizzing up. But I feel like a lot of times when I was doing my hair, um, the buttons. So every time like I would put my hand on it, <laughs> you know, I like I don't know if I accidentally pressed the button or turned it down. But I feel like they kind of mess up with the temperature and check, please check. Cause there were times that I didn't check um, to make sure that that light was on. So um, you want to make sure that the blue light um, or the, the white, the blue light is still um, and then the white light shows the level. So if it's only showing a flashing blue light, that means it's off, the temperature's off. Um, and again, that kind of goes with the um, 30 minute you know, after 30 minutes, it automatically shuts down. So um, just be mindful of that because, you know, that could, you know, um, impact how straight your hair is or if you're getting the, the correct temperature or maintaining the same temperature around your head, if that makes sense. So anyways, that was a con. Um, you also probably all uh, saw that I was struggling trying to get the ends of my hair um, again. I feel like it's just, there's things that I'm going to need to keep experimenting with um, and with my hair. And I kept doing either under and over, or I'm sorry, over and under and just trying to figure out which one that I wanted to do more. But I will say that my hair typically looks like this um, or it frizzes up quickly even after a flat iron. Um, because I don't typically put <laughs> a lot of heat on my hair. I think that me doing it just from a stretch date and not, you know, blow drying my hair beforehand, I do think that that impacted it. So I will see what it looks like next time. I like the product, okay? I would recommend it because it does help with time. Um, and again, like I said, if you want to do blowouts, so be it. And also know that everybody's hair is different. So we have to find what works for our hair. Um, the time mine took, you know, about two and a half hours, which again is shorter than what it typically is with my hair because my hair is pretty thick and I do have to do it in smaller sections so that it doesn't, um, get, you know, caught up or anything. And, um, I do know that I'm gonna, I think I said this already. I did. I said this already. I'm just talking at this point y'all but um i do want to bump it like I, I i wanted to have more of a bump with this um and i know it's like in a mix between two things where it's like it's still kind of hard trying to you know especially down here where it's like this mid um you know like bra strap pretty much that length right here and it's like hard, you, girl. I mean, I don't know how to do under. Like I don't. Other than doing a, a curl down there, like a, a little roller, perm rod or something. But um, even like right here, I wish that um, it was more of a bump when I did the um, underneath. So I hope that you all enjoy this. If you guys like this. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can be a part of our family, our soul tribe. Um, if you have any recommendations, if you tried out this product, product please let me know um, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. Any suggestions you would have for me as far as the um, issues that I had with the product. And, you know, I, I look forward to it. I look forward to learning more about my hair as I already have been. Um, 
more about you know different products out there and what you all are doing to um grow your hair